Hey guys, Joe here. Uh, sorry about the audio. I forgot the thing is what it is. So in this video, I want to basically talk about how nine times out of 10, we already know what we have to do within our business when there's issues. The problem is we either refuse to make the hard decisions or we try to rationalize it, like the situation until it fits our narrative of why we're choosing to do what we do, right? So I had a contractor come in today and he, I haven't seen him for a little bit. Like he's normally upbeat, positive and everything else. So then I see him today and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And he's like, like you can just see he was like as soon as i said that like it was like i'm done like um, he's like i'm ready to sell the business things like that where this time of year and especially this year is a lot of people are really struggling financially so i was thinking it was more in line with that but turns out like he's actually still selling jobs and things like that but he's like i haven't seen him because like he does fences and decks right now we don't have decks so like he's been going other places and so I'm like, he, I'm like, look, like if you need some, cause I can just tell he's frustrated. I'm like, if you need someone to talk to, like I'm here for you guys. Right. And like, I try to help you however I can. I'm like, if you want to set up a time, if you want to talk now, whatever it is. Right. And so he just starts talking. Right. I only let him go for about 30 seconds because a lot of times people are like giving me, not that I don't care, but like, if you want me to help you fix your situation, like, it's kind of like I just need the facts, right? And there's just a few questions I really need to ask in order to figure out, like, what needs to happen, right? Like, what's the struggle? You know, basically, what is the problem? And like, do this to fix that, right? And so I stop, I'm like, look, there's, in my opinion, there's four things, right? Talk about it before. Number one, do you have leads coming in? Number two, are you able to close those leads? Number three, are you able to produce those jobs? Number four, do you know your numbers, right? And he's like, honestly, it's probably the last two. So basically knowing the numbers and producing the jobs. And for him, cause he's like, I really don't know the numbers as well as I should and blah, blah, blah. Now for most people, when they don't know their numbers, it's really concerning to me because most of the contractors coming in, especially this time of year, and especially uh, this year specifically, like they're just dropping their pricing so low that like you can't make any profit, right? And, but for him, I know personally that like when he used to talk about how much he charged, I was like, holy shit, like how are you booking these jobs at this price? Like it was just crazy, right? And so anyway, I wasn't concerned about that, but it was just producing the jobs. So he starts going in and talking about it and like he's complaining about like, you know, basically the jobs, like, you know, it should only take about this amount of time, but it's taking like, you know, 25, 50, 100% longer than it's supposed to, you know, jobs that should be done in like a day or take a two, two should be and going into four and going on and on. And I'm like, so you feel like you're babysitting, right? And he's like, yeah. And so I go into my normal spiel about just hire a subcontractor, right? And like he gets through that. And he's like, honestly, like I sub out all my fence jobs, I sub out the pavers, but he's like, I just can't seem to find a sub for the decking, right? And he's like, because it's, he's like, basically it's more involved. But like fencing, I agree 100%. Like, because it's literally digging holes, setting posts, hanging gates. Like, in my opinion, that's it. Especially in this area where everyone's putting up full panels, like, it's so simple, it's ridiculous, right? And even for the whole, like, even if we were building on site, like, honestly, that's not rocket science either. Like, it's the same crap over and over. And then, but um, the pavers is definitely more difficult. And then, but he's like, it's really with the decking, you know, because I have this paver guy, he's really good, but I haven't been able to find a sub for the the decking it just seems like it's more involved their quality is not as good blah 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 and he's like now we're getting into these covered patios and if you can't do that like either like if you can't do decks like how in the hell are you going to do a covered patio especially with the liability blah 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 right i said look i don't know decks but for the most part it like since we're getting the decks in like i'm looking at it and i'm like look at you know now i look at decks and i'm trying to learn about it. i'm like honestly this does not seem like rocket science either i'm like 
it seems like more of the same thing like you're digging holes and setting posts for like you know for the um the supports and I'm, after that i'm like you're just running boards for the most part i'm like what's there like two to three things that need like this more attention to detail like i'm like you know kind of like the the corner like the mitered corners making sure they're square and stuff like that he's like yeah for the most part i'm like that's easy to teach right and then so he's going back he's like but honestly like i used to have this like last year we were doing so well we were knocking out these jobs so quick and blah 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 and then um but now my my guy like the guy i had you know it's my uncle and like now we're having all these issues and like blah 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 and i'm like yeah it's a problem with hiring friends and family you know, it's because you kind of like let one thing, you know, little things go because it's your, you know, friends or family. And the next thing you know, it gets worse and worse and worse. Right. And he's like, yeah. And he's like, you know, I had these two guys who were knocking it out. And then basically the one guy quit because of my uncle, because my uncle was, you know, or his uncle was the, uh, you know, the, uh, the foreman. And he's like, you know, I think he had like alcohol and maybe drug issues and things like that. And I'm like, yeah, like what's happening is because he has two other guys working now, like underneath the uncle. And I'm like, but your standards are up here. Your uncles are here. I'm like, the other two are never getting above this level. Right. They're just not because they're like they're getting managed by this other dude. So um, I'm like, can you get these other two guys? And he's like, yeah, probably like the other two guys back. And I'm like, he's like, yeah, probably. I'm like, all right. So you know what to do. I'm like, you just need to fire your uncle and get these two guys in right he's like yeah it's just i feel bad he's like but you know he moved from uh, out of the area to here for this job but he's like he worked for my dad at first but then he had lost you know basically the dad fired him several times kept on giving him chances and i'm like yeah so basically it just sucks right and he's like yeah and he's like but i feel bad i'm like but this is business like you like you're basically falling apart i'm like you used to be happy and now like you're ready to sell the business because of this guy I'm like he's just gotta go right and he's like yeah so long story short going back to it he already knew what the problem was but the thing was he kept on rationalizing it that like he had to help out his uncle it was the right thing to do and everything else which yes and no like you know yes it's family but at the end of the day if the family's not looking out for you then you should not be looking out for your family either it's just how it is right and if they're actively making your life hell if they're actively not doing the business the job the way it should be like unfortunately like you just gotta go so we know what we need to do most of the time right um and sometimes we're just too like in the business like we're too, like we're so deep in the shit that we just can't under, like even think about like the issues and like how to rationally think about this stuff without putting emotion behind it that sometimes you just need to talk to someone right so if you don't have someone to talk to that's more on the business side of things because this shit's not rocket science again it's the four things if you need someone to talk to and you have no one to talk to like i am available right so it's not going to be all the time uh i am gonna get busy like that's gonna happen but there's a few ways that you can make this happen number one is that you can literally um you can find me on um obviously here if you want to send me a message um or if you want to do facebook something like that um you can do an email um you can send me a video anything like that people have been sending me emails now so i kind of just go through and I, I do like a video answer back um if we can't like figure out a time um and like it's easy to find me so my name's joe magrala m-i-g-r-a-l-a -A. uh email is first initial last name at gmail uh you can find me on my facebook page send me a message um send me a video if you want to do something like that take a you know, quick selfie video like hey this is what's going on but typically usually about in 15 minutes like with asking and just a few questions and really starting with like there's four areas of business which area are you having a problem with right now right and or which areas right and then from there it's usually pretty damn simple it's just the same thing over and over again but again we rationalize the the decisions we make to kind of fit the narrative whatever that happens to be right so anyway i hope you guys are having an awesome day um if you're having these kinds of issues just it, it, it's really that simple but if you need someone to talk to i'm here right i try to help out however i can it's what i actually enjoy to do um i just ask one thing that you actually take action 
with the advice I give you. Like, that's it. Because, like, a lot of times, like, the contractors that come in, I'm like, do, just do this, this, and this. Part of the problem is, like, because I don't charge, is that, like, they take the um, the advice for granted. But then, like, they have this issue. I'm like, just do this to fix it. And then, um, you know, I see them a few weeks later. I'm like, how's everything going? And, like, they never did anything with it. So they're still suffering. So anyway, just do that. If you are having issues, a lot of times I will make a video up as well. And because I can post it and make things easier, I'm trying to figure out, like, I just got to get better at, um, actually posting the content. Cause honestly I post these, I do these videos and then they don't freaking, um, upload them. So anyway, have a good one. Hopefully you see this.